So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with a token, and you're probably looking at it and saying, mm, no, it's a coin, it's an actual coin, but there is an actual difference in it. A coin is usually, or well, issued by a government of some sort, or some type of royal authority, and it's usually legal tender throughout the land that that authority actually uh, administers but tokens are issued by private individuals they have no legal tender so people uh, don't have to accept them for payment in the territory or country where they actually live so that's basically what a token is uh, it's probably people probably have different interpretations but that's my one anyway so this one was actually issued by Holloway's pills and ointments and if we look on the so this will be the obverse because it has his portrait on it and as you can see as Professor Holloway Oh, and it's actually a bit corroded, so he looks like an actual zombie, actually. So it's actually quite a nicely designed coin because they were actually minted to a high standard. And as you can see, it has London. So this is actually a one penny coin. Uh, I actually don't have a UK one penny of the time, but I do have a Guernsey. Cobra 8 doubles from 1834 and this is actually the same size as the actual penny of the United Kingdom because even though Guernsey and Jersey could issue their own coins the weight standard was the same as the UK and 8 doubles is equivalent to 1 penny and as you can see this is uh, it's a little bit thicker for the Guernsey coin, uh, but it's the same diameter. And they're both made of copper, so they're both the same materials. And quite frankly, a lot of the tokens are better in design and quality than the actual UK coins. A lot of the times, UK coins are just totally terrible. Uh, although Britannia is good, it's a lot more stylistic freedom in these actual tokens and on this side we have hygiene in which we get the word hygiene and that's the ancient Greek goddess of health and she's seated on a pedestal and has um, two pedestals on right on the left on this side it has a glow on that side it has a flame coming up and it also has a snake drinking out of a cup. So here's the snake there, it winds all the way around. And its head's going in there, drinking out of a cup. And she's actually holding the cup in her hand. And this snake is not really a symbol of evil. It's more like a, a, a symbol of... Well, I'm not too sure what the Greeks thought of it, but obviously they had no negative connotations with the actual snake. Not like we have now, like when you call someone a snake. Um, if you call me a snake, you call me a beautiful animal. So, I don't really see snakes as pretty bad. And here's the other foot down here. You can see a foot. The other one's actually covered. Then we have the initials. JM and that's for Joseph Moore who actually designed both sides of it and they're all 1870 uh, 57 there's also a half penny as well and if we look on this side we have initials down the bottom with um, uh, Joseph Moore so this one's in J Moore so it's not just his initials, it actually has his last 
name. So that's actually quite a nice token. And these tokens can actually get quite expensive, but this one is actually one of the more common tokens. I presume they were made in the UK, like most of the other tokens. And these were actually used quite a lot in Australia, so a lot of them were exported to Australia. They probably would have been exported to the UK, no, not the UK, um, New Zealand, uh, probably the Pacific countries. Where else? Uh, probably to South Africa as well, in the Cape Colonies, even though the poor, poor countries are actually still around in, not under British control. They probably would have circulated as they had the same di diameter as an actual penny coin. So, there are no mintage figures for this actual coin, uh, like all tokens. Well, most of them anyway, they don't actually provide minty triggers because they weren't actually minted at the mint in the UK. Or it doesn't matter what time period or what country they were minted privately at in various places uh, around the world. And this is only one period when the UK actually had tokens. It's quite a few periods in which UK had tokens because of a lack of coinage. That's the only reason why people issued these was a lack of coinage. So obviously it's a good advertisement as well for the actual business. And they were actually tolerated as well. Um, different countries actually demonetized these at different times. And usually they would have um, retrieved these at pretty much full face value. Uh, and replace them with uh, the actual modern coinage. So what would you be expecting to actually pay for one of these coins? Well, if we look at the actual eBay auctions, you can see you got one uh, Got two pennies up there for 39. Got a one for $10 and another one for 35. That's extremely fine. My one's probably very fine. Uh, find the very fine. Then you got, have a look at this one. Can you see the actual coin? Is it? There you go. Yeah, it looks. Is that the same condition as mine? Looks like it might be. So, uh, probably in better condition because it doesn't actually have the corrosion. So it's 15 bucks. So you've probably been paying about 10 to $15 for a coin that's probably in fine to very fine condition uh is it 35 for one extremely fine and so you lay ones you're probably paying at least one to two hundred dollars i would say and here we have another one no that one has a hole in it and the other one's not that good but pretty much that's what you actually be paying uh, for this coin, probably between ten and twenty dollars, and if you want a one in a higher grade, so uncirculated, I'd say probably more towards the two hundred dollars, two hundred dollar mark, uh, because well, actually there was a collector's market in the eighteen hundreds for these coins, and the earliest catalogs actually did focus on these token coins from. Pretty much the UK. Those books themselves are actually also collector's items. And they also detail a lot of the coins that probably, uh, a lot of them are probably um, low mint as well. So I hope you like this uh, introduction to token coins of the United Kingdom. I don't have that many. And hopefully in the future I could actually source some more. But anyway, I'd like to say... Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, also have an awesome coin collecting time. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also check out my links below. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, token coins on eBay so you can see what actual varieties and uh, 
beautiful designs they actually do have. Thank you very much and goodbye.